Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what is the equation of a vertical line and what is the equation of a horizontal line, okay? For a vertical line, most certainly we have an example here and I'm going to identify two random points in this line. So for example, I'm going to choose this point and I'm going to choose this point. Okay, so for this point we have coordinates negative 2, 3 and for this point we have coordinates negative 2, negative 2. So if I were to use the slope-intercept form formula for the equation of a line, observe what is going to happen here. Because first I need to find the slope, I need to find m. So if I use the formula for m, remember that it's going to be y sub 2 minus y sub n, uh, y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So if I choose this point and this point, and this is the second one, I'm going to have minus 2, minus 3. And minus 2 minus minus 2, which is the same as minus 2 plus 2. But if I simplify here, this is going to be negative 5 over 0. And we have a problem here because this is not defined. And this is characteristic of a vertical line. We don't have a slope. The slope is undefined. So what is going to be the question of a vertical line? We have to analyze what is the characteristic of all the points that is in this line. Observe that these two points have something in common. The x-coordinate is the same body. It repeats and if I start identifying any point here I'm going to have that all the points are going to have x coordinate negative 2. So remember that equation also is a description of how the points behave in this line. So this is the line where all the points are going to have x coordinate negative 2. So that is going to be the equation of this line. It's going to be x equal to negative 2 and this is going to be characteristic of all the vertical lines. The slope is going to be undefined, therefore, the equation is going to be of the form x equal to something. What is going to be that something? The x coordinate that is always going to repeat in all the points in that line. Now, for the horizontal line, now once again, I'm going to choose two random points. So, let me choose this one and let me choose this one. So, this is going to have coordinates negative 1, 3, and this has coordinates 5, 3. So if I were to apply the equation, I need to find m. So for m, apply the formula. So if I'm going to have that this is going to be the first point and this is the second point, so y2 minus y sub 1, which is going to be 3 minus 3 over x2 minus x sub 1. So I have 5 minus minus 1, okay, coordinate minus this coordinate. So this is going to be 0 over 5 plus 1, which is 6. But I can divide this, this is going to be equal to 0 which is this characteristic of all the horizontal lines. You're going, going, always going to notice that the slope is going to be always, it's going to be zero for an horizontal line. So if I replace this value here, I know that zero times any number is going to be zero. And zero plus any number is going to be the same number. So this is y equal to p. Now if I were to replace y with any point that I know that is there. So here, all the coordinates, all the points have y coordinate 3. So it doesn't matter which one I use, I replace it here. I'm going to have that this is going to be b equal to 3. So when I finish up the equation, I'm left with y equal to 0x plus 3. But so this is going to be y equal to 3. And this is always going to happen when you have an horizontal line. It's going to be of the form y equal to the b. y equal to the y coordinate, which is always going to be the same in the points that are going to be in horizontal line. So here that is 3, this is 3, and if you pick any point there, you're going to find out that the y coordinate is always going to be 3. So that is the characteristic of all the points that is going to be in, the line, in this line. So it's a point which y coordinate is always going to be 3. Therefore, the equation is y equal to 3. And this is going to be the form for specifically the horizontal line. So hopefully this helps. For the vertical line, it's x equal to something, which is going to be the value that is going to repeat in the x coordinate. And for the horizontal line, it's going to be y equal to something, which is going to be the value that is always going to repeat in the y coordinate. 